Watch this! We're back to Dark Souls! <laughs> no, we're not! Jump off the edge! <laughs> Knowing you, you would! On the- just on the off chance. I'm gonna see if I can get a summon here. Wait, are you- is it a legit summon or is it a player summon? I don't know. Anyway, like, guys, welcome to Game Bros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to do this thing and try to remember where the thing is. What thing? The pathway. Yeah, so, uh, we, uh, I'm, we, we took a detour, uh, in recording, as you guys could tell, we, uh, played some Rogue Legacy while Ray was up, and that was a lot of fun. And I don't remember where the path to get to where I'm going Go kill is. that crystal thing. No. Yeah, kill him. He's my friend. Kill him! I don't wanna! I'm trying to find a boss, not kill things. Wait, weren't you on, like, the invisible crystal bridges or something? Yes, I'm trying to remember the pathway. <laughs> Isn't that what the uh, the little glowy stones are for? I don't have any. I thought you had. Did you waste them all? Yup. <sighs> you pleb. Hey, I used to know I this. I mean, path. I'm one to talk though, considering I don't know this game, you know, from its head, from its ass, you know. I used to like know this pathway really well. Fuck that butterfly. Do not like that butterfly at all. You can't fight that one. I wish you could, like I wish you could kill it at least, you know. I mean, Wait, could you shoot at it? I don't think I have a bow. I mean, like in general. I don't know. I haven't tried. Is that a second one or is that the same one? No, there's it? multiple around here. Ah, uh, yeah. Hi, goaty boy. Okay, do a full 180 for you. Bye. Do a full 180 for your uh, attack. That's. Fucking fair. Okay, so this way. That's where I died. Retrieve your soul. Oh, wow. Um, I'm glad you retrieved that. But now the question is... Where to go from here? Forward. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I found it. I remember. Because people put signs down. That's hey, it still helped. <laughs> it's a legitimate Thank strategy. <laughs> it is. Thank you, people. Okay. You want to see some hairy clams? Sure. Are they legit hairy clams? Are you serious? They have legs too. Yep, and the those are weird. I don't like them. You only find them in two places in That's the game. It's weird. I don't like it Guess at all. That's what I'm about to do. Find another boss? Skip a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> cutscene. Hi, Sif. Receive. It's literally one letter. Jesus Christ! Yep. Uh, what? How did you follow me in here? How did I get that turned around? The tail swipe, probably. Good lord, that one hit just like. Let me past your thing. You got annihilated. Heal. D are, are you good for this fight? Yep. How? Are, are they not supposed to be able to follow you in or? No! Well, maybe you should kill them next time. Jesus! Okay, forget this fight. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Did so the other we're one have leashed. Clam chowder for dinner now. The other one leashed, I think. All right. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. I hit a dead zone for that. Oh, tail swipe. Oh. And a boof. Okay. T tell me if this sounds cheap or not. Okay. I feel like if you're doing a dodge, you should have iframes. You do. It's just you have to know where those iframes are. Or when. Well, because here's the thing. It's like I dodge and it's like while I'm in mid-dodge. Oh, no. He killed the other one. That's why. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is our battle. Don't interfere. Cut his tail off. That's what I'm working on. 
Woo. So we were, uh, while we were out. Woo. Oh God, run, run. Get the heels. Get uh, the heels while we in. were out earlier today, uh, we were actually talking about the, the lore for this character, right? Yeah. Okay, so Seath, um, I'm going to tell you this from a plebs yeah. standpoint. Okay? That, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> there was another person. I saw the shadow. <laughs> And it kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> so this is coming from a pleb standpoint. So this totally isn't accurate, or kind of is. So, um, yeah. Seath is a scaleless dragon. Has no scales whatsoever, and all the dra other dragons made fun of him, kind of like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So Seath contacted Gwyn, huck, and huck, Gwyn was, huck, he was huck. like, "Hey, Gwyn, here's lightning. Smite these bitches." <laughs> I almost died because of curse there. Is, is that about accurate strife? Yeah. The funny thing is, you saw that thing I was running towards and like destroyed at the beginning yeah. of the fight. If I don't destroy that, uh -huh. you cannot beat him. Is it like a... Uh, like it, he made a crystal to make him immortal. Too bad he didn't make the crystal immortal, right? Right. Dude, let me pass you... Just hit him! I'm trying to get to his tail! Just... Okay, what do you get from his tail? A great sword. Do you need the? Are you going to use it? As long as I have the stats, because I don't. No, are you actually going to use it? Like, is it if I be have the stats, yes. Is it going to be better than Artorias's sword? It depends on if we even get Artorias' sword. We have it. You just don't have the stats for it. Remember? It's also safer to hit him from the back. Okay. Because if you hit him from the front, he does a lot of crystal attacks, okay. and they have a very high chance of cursing you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would, uh... So, I always try to hit him from the back. Giggity. <laughs> he likes it in the back door. Because now watch. Like, I switch sides, so he's he... going to do a crystal attack. I don't know why he reminds me... It, it doesn't remind me of a dragon. It reminds me of another creature. But I don't know what. You need to heal, like, right. It wouldn't let me move. Well, there goes that battle. Eh, I'll be back there in a second. Second my ass is going to take you the rest of the episode to get back here. No, it won't. Oh, like, nine times out of ten, that's what happens. It's like, they die, and it's like, oh, we have to go all the way back. So, some bullshit. Hey. Yeah, but now that I know where that last pathway is. I mean, if the signs are still there, you know? No, I remember where it's at now. Okay. I did it, so I remember it. Wee. Fall canceling. Fall canceling. Doodly dee, doodly dee. Fall. Only works half the time. No, fall canceling works all the time. It's just depending on if you would die from the fall damage or not. Because what I mean by a fall cancel is you know that animation when you fall and take damage where you yeah. kind of like, ugh. If you uh, roll at the... <laughs> if you what? <laughs> if you roll at the right time. No, if you ugh. <laughs> yeah, where your character like hits the ground and they're like, ugh. I, I, for some reason, I instantly think of the sound effect like whenever you take fall damage in Minecraft, just ooh. Yeah, basically. But if you hit roll or your dodge button at the right time, you can cancel that animation. Okay. So when I say fall canceling, that's what I mean. But I feel like it's still one of those things where it's like it only works sometimes because I feel like that's that's literally this game. Whatever you try to do in this game only works half the time. Because I feel like it's like, okay, you can put the right inputs in all the time. But then it's like... Oh, he nope. <laughs> he, yeah, he noped out of there. Oh! Get out. <laughs> now, what if he follows you into the... I'm just going to die. I'll just stand there. Ah! Well, there goes your 20,000-something <laughs> soul. Because you had to be a dick to the butterfly. You wanted me to try. I didn't say do it. I said I'm curious if you could. That doesn't mean go do it. Well, I tried it. And I mean, I'm curious what it's like to be stung by a scorpion. That doesn't mean I'm going to bare my ass and go have at it. I mean, I would. I don't care. 
I am the embodiment of no fucks given. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Shy guy is actually visiting right now. He's in the other. He's in the other room. Or did he leave yet? I don't know. Uh, I don't see the truck. Oh well, shit. He didn't even say bye. That bastard. <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> the bastard. Oh well. But yeah, he was uh, he was visiting earlier today, and we went out swimming. And it was actually the first time this year that actually the pool felt somewhat good. I thought it felt good the first time. Yeah, but I guess you're the embodiment of you don't care, so. Whoop. I love how I'm so used to half of these enemies. That when I you just... played a game for so long, you start to memorize. Okay, this was a discussion we were actually having whenever you were, do you were testing out Mega Man X. Uh-huh. When you've played a game for so long, you just know. Because there are certain parts where it's like, I know what's coming up, and you're like, oh, what do I do? And you get hit, and I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, that's when you jump, you idiot! And I'm sitting there thinking, wait, he's never played this. How would he know that, you know? Apparently, I've actually been doing somewhat of a speedrun strat, it looks like. Okay. Because there's a path right in front of me there. Oh, well. So, like, I'm when I jump down here, strat. I'm... Hey, how many souls you get back? Nothing! <laughs> Don't piss off the butterfly. Or if you do, have a strategy to at least kill it properly. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to keep doing that. I didn't either. Like, I just thought it was just going to fly off and be like, nope, I'm out of here. Uh, I'm going to go replace the one you killed earlier. Yeah, did you know that? What? That the Moonlight Butterfly was see uh, Seat's creation. No, I did not. Yeah, he made them. Huh. Okay, now are they actually going to follow you They in? shouldn't be able to get past the white fog now. Uh, they're stuck. Okay. But well, how'd they get through the first time then? Because it wasn't technically a fog wall yet until he showed up that first time. Okay. I mean, I guess that kind of makes. I don't know. Dark Souls is weird. I broke your thing, eh, boy? That's a cool ass looking dragon. You know, he kind of reminds me of an ice version of Bahamut with tentacles. Like, can, can we verify that? I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, at least the upper body kind of looks like Bahamut. There you go, there you go. Well, there you were going. <laughs> Gotta get away from the curse. <laughs> I wasn't even behind what, you, dude. What, what do we call this curse? Scaling, scale is bitch syndrome? Yeah. He's being a little bitch, like he's just doing tail attacks right there. I don't even know if you would call that a tail, technically. No, uh, th this long one back here that I'm I mean, attacking. yeah, but you also got the two little, like, snubby, smaller ones in the front. What would you call those? Dicks. D <laughs> Did you know, see the Scalas from Dark Souls 1 has two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think like he would say that to impress the ladies? It's like, yeah, I might be skillless, but I got two dicks, baby. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. Get out of the crystals! No, not in the crystals! <laughs> He's got to feel good about his scale scaleless body some way. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like you know, if we had if men had an insecurity about themselves, but they had something else to compensate for it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like unattractive, well, I wouldn't necessarily say unattractive men, but men that women would find unattractive, like, Me. some women, <laughs> you got a girlfriend, shut the hell up. <laughs> Still think it's fluke sometimes. Shut I up! <laughs> you know, rub it in for the single guys over here, you piece of shit. But, like, in, in example, like, some women don't <laughs> like, uh... Sorry. I tried to jump his tail and got stuck floating no, on I it. saw. But it's like, uh, you know, some women don't like men that are bald. You know, but it's like, he could have, like, a ten-inch dick. And they're like, oh, well, if that's the case, you get what I mean? Yeah. Get out of the crystals. <laughs> I gotta stay. Out of the crystals. <laughs> Wait, that worked. This time it did anyway. I I think you're cur I think you're jinxing yourself going after the tail. 
Get out, get out, get out! Heal! That was almost unfortunate. He's using a halberd. <laughs> Out of curiosity, so I, I don't know if we've discussed this on an episode or not, but what is your favorite style of weapon to use? You're seeing it. Like, this is a great sword, or? Yeah, I, I run strength weapons. Well, you almost got him. Kristen, again, we were here last time, too, and then old tail swinger. Eh? You almost got it. Come on, Strife. He's having a hissy fit. Just go for the front. Don't worry about the tail. Really? You trying to show... Really? Are you showing off? Actually, no. The jump wasn't purposeful. Alright, next time on Game Bros, guys, uh, we're going to chill this bonfire until then. Maybe level up some. I'm going to level up some. Hey, guys, this is Crow of Murder 15. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. And make sure to share this with a friend. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.